life can shatter us like glass. But can the pieces be put back together? I'm Shaheed Muhammad, and I'm 18 years old. About two years ago, I met Shaheen Muhammad, uh, just walking in the hallways. He was one of the first young men that just came up to me and said, hey coach, how you doing? Shaheen is a great guy. He's always helping others and making sure everybody else is okay. He's definitely the coolest guy you can ever meet. Very uh, down to earth, very funny. Definitely caring, whatever you need. Just like on the court, he's there for you. But change is inevitable. Unfortunately, I did hear. I feel as though that it shouldn't have happened to him. It shouldn't have been him. It have been him. I crossed the street on the bike, and I looked to my right. Is a car with dim headlights coming towards me? Towards me. Towards me. Towards me. After the car crash, I lost a little bit of hope. The uh, deep cuts that required like stitches, fracture in my wrist, the pain, the fear. It was hard to deal with. It hurt my pride a lot because I can't work out or do the things that I needed to do. So as soon as I got off my feet and I was able to run track, I just kept getting stronger. So I'm a whole new person, ready to go. I'm ready to work on something. Thanks to his determination, Shaheem rose to prominence as a captain on his basketball team. I stayed in Winslow just to finish out my um, senior year of high school. I've been here majority of my life, so I didn't want that drastic change because I felt like that would really affect me. Playing basketball at Winslow, uh, you're definitely competing every day. We're grinding, we're always in the gym, just trying to get better. I've seen Shaheem since he was a young pup as, as a ninth grade, as a freshman, you know, just trying to get on the court back then, playing with the older guys, and I've watched him grow. He's that guy, he wants, he wants to win, and he, he knows that if you're not doing what people are expecting, your coaches are expected to do, he's gonna say something. He's the man where he's improved in every aspect of his, of his play, whether it's shooting, dribbling, playing defense, Every team needs a Shaheen on the team. He's basically like the coach on the court. I wanted to be the leader of a basketball team. So when I was given that role, I didn't back away from it. Unbeknownst to those around him, Shaheen was displaced from his home in September. And then one week before the start of the season, he was forced to move into foster care, going months without seeing his mother or infant sisters. I lived in a lot of places growing up. As your environment changes, it's, it's difficult to stay the same. I wanted to make my mother and my sisters proud. And I also wanted to prove to myself that, you know, I could really do it. Shouts of advice devolved into bursts of anger. It impacted my leadership skills a lot because a lot of the built up uh, anger that I had inside myself, sometimes in spurts, like I would pass that to other people. He was more angrier than he was a leader. Just angry at whatever situation, foul, missed shot, he just angry. I was supposed to be showing people how to do the right things. The way that I said it was absolutely Role. This mix of emotions culminated at his team senior night, where Shaheem had to accept the end of not only a season, but a piece of his life. Let Shaheem's story show you that situations do not define us and that a better life is in reach. If we give up, our future becomes opaque. But resilience can open up windows not yet seen. No matter how far we fall, any life can be put back together. Peace, 
by peace. How does it make you feel knowing that you made all of this crap? Um, it makes me feel real, real, uh, real happy that that I have people that that look up to me and. Yeah, it makes me real happy for real.